Well, it's that time again. I'm going on my travels with my wife and I'm super excited to leave the house, leave the state, jump on a plane and take a couple of watches with me. But what are they going to be? Hello, you're watching James. My name's James. You're watching me and I'm talking about watches. Yes, it's time for me to go on holidays again, and I'm really, really excited. And of course, when I go on holidays, I'm gonna be taking some watches with me. But every time I do go traveling, depending on the style of travel, depending on what I'm doing, depending on where I'm staying, depends on the watches that I take. Last time when I went on travels, I was staying with family, and I felt very comfortable and confident taking some watches that had some emotional connection to me, that had had a little bit of sort of a price tag to them as well. But this time is a little bit different. This time I'm going to Tasmania with my wife. We're going to do a lot of outdoor activities, lots of hiking, and we're going to be staying in a whole heap of different areas. And because we're staying in a whole heap of different areas, Airbnbs, motels, hotels, and because we're going to be outside a lot, I'm going to only take two watches with me and I'm gonna take some of my slightly more affordable watches. But let's flip the camera and let me show you the ones I'm gonna take. So what's in my trusty pouch, pouch that I made, pouch that suits me really well, holds two watches nicely. Two watches only I'm taking this time because I want two things. Firstly, I wanna take a couple of watches that I feel comfortable taking to places where I may feel a little bit uncomfortable because I haven't been there before, I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure it's safe, Australia is a safe place, but you just never know. And two watches, well, if I happen to be staying in a location, I've got two wrists, I can walk around with two if I need to. I very much doubt that's going to happen. But let's check out the watches that I've chosen to take with me. Yep, I'm going to take my Steel Dive Captain Willard Homage, an awesome watch, a really good quality watch, and amazing value, certainly of a value that if it gets damaged, destroyed, or stolen, I'm not going to be concerned. And secondly, I'm going to take my Citizen Automatic, the NJ0100, a watch that I really, really like. Also affordable. It's going to be featuring on the channel a fair bit. Let's start with this one because it is such a good watch. Now, at the moment, I've actually got it on my Boulevard uh, leather strap. I may change that back to the uh, initial sort of bracelet, but I haven't quite figured it out yet. It's just such a good looking watch. It's such a good watch to wear. And there's a nice little watch which I can still wear daily during the day or maybe be my nighttime watch. The Captain Willard, well, this is fairly obvious, I think, why I'm going to take it. It's because it's a great watch. It's a great watch for an everyday watch and because it is affordable. So they're the two watches I'm going to be taking with me on my travels to Tasmania this time. I might put some stuff on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see some travel shots of me in Tasmania. And if you like this video and you want to know more about this one, maybe check out these two videos next.